random houses, let's go! Hey, I James? Yeah. Come to the front door right now, please. James? Yes. James? Hi. You man, come. Hello, James. Um, we need to speak to James. James? Huh. Hi. Um, that James. Is this right, where the study group is? No. No. What the number is this? No. Um, we study group. Yeah, oh, 530. Come on. 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 I'd say like once every three, two to three months, we run into another prankster that's uh, thinks that what they're doing is funny when it's just ridiculous. Uh, but still, it's for clicks. Uh, this guy's name is Mizzy, and now he's getting some pushback here for his type of pranks, which is walking in people's houses, because that makes sense. Oh my God, and it's so funny too. Matter of fact, he also takes people's dogs sometimes. Let's go to this next one. Uh, hello. Hi. You got a nice dog. Sorry? You got a nice dog. She's lovely, she's sis. Yes. How many dogs? Don't run away. Bing gang, hold on the gang. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. We are tired. Dog. We are tired every single time. My man's only 18 years old. His name is Bakari Bronze Ogaro. That's his actual name. But of course, he goes by Mizzy, as I pointed out, because you gotta have a snazzy name if you're doing crazy things like this, which I think you guys are all thinking it would only get you in your own kind of bodily harm. Anyway, he's been issued a criminal behavior order following his arrest on May 23rd. Which is, that's I think he figured that that would happen to him. His arrest follows an extreme outrage over his viral videos, which he claimed were just pranks. And a few of his most viral practical jokes included him making off with that elderly woman's dog and harassing Jewish people on the street and even entering that family's home. But there's even more. He's also ordered to pay this 365 pound fine. And according to prosecutor Varinder Hare, Ogero had violated a community protection notice that he'd been issued in May of last year when he specifically was barred from a on private property. So again, the clicks come because he's breaking all of these rules and, 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 uh, and, and orders that have been put on him to do this. So that makes it so much funnier. What it actually, I think many people are watching this guy waiting for is for someone to assault him. And then that's gonna be another problem. Uh, but he, uh, I don't know, man. I, Dan, it feels like we keep getting these types of things because people get rewarded for doing these types of things to a degree. And then people say how ridiculous and stupid and I can't believe you're putting yourself in this kind of danger it is. But then again, the clicks are just that juicy. Oh Yeah, the internet rewards toxic behavior. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines. It's like a force of nature at this point. You kind of just like expect it. But I do not like these prank videos. I can tell by those narrow stares and um, somewhat posh accents that this is not in America. So um, mm. the idea of him getting blasted by a shotgun or an AR-15 is a little bit less out of the realm possibility. But there are still in people in England with guns, and there are a lot of people in England with knives, <laughs> and there are a lot of people in England with fists. So <laughs> this is just a bad. I mean. Uh, in a karma kind of way, I don't care. <laughs> Especially if you're going to be doing these pranks, uh, stupid games, stupid prizes. But this is why you shouldn't be doing these things. And there are way dumber ways uh, to get clicks. Just go to the gym or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. Uh, by the way, he talked to Piers Morgan. They argued about it as well. But he brought up the fact that he's a black guy as the reasons why people are pushing back on this. I just want to go to a piece of this. Maybe we cut it in the middle. But I at least want to say what see what he was saying to Piers, who's an a-hole himself. But the fact that he's a black guy and how the pushback is coming. And I think he's right to a degree, but not for what he's saying. Watch. What you said, you said you said you're learning about your black. life. Tell me about your life. I'm getting, trying to get on to you because I'm black. Because I guarantee- Because if you're a black. Person, yeah, I guarantee- if I don't a give a person, damn about your skin oh, color. Really? No, why would really I care pissed. of what color your skin is? Really I just think you're an idiot. Oh, thank you. I think you're an idiot too. That's fine. You're perfectly entitled to. Yeah, this so is, are you. So the like, show's fine. called Uncensored. I think you're an idiot for what you've been doing. Okay. I also think you're an idiot for playing the race car when okay. no one's really? mentioned your skin color. Really? Okay. You don't have to mention it to- I don't care about your way. skin color, Aye. Mizzy. Aye. I care about the fact that you've been terrorizing all these people for a sustained period of time. I also care about the fact you've only got a tiny fine today. No deterrent to you whatsoever. You don't show any real remorse. 
You don't UK, really care, do you? The UK laws are weak, simple as. And that's huh? not, the UK laws are weak, simple as, and that's not huh. my fault. It's not his fault that the laws are weak. But again, he mentions that he's a black guy, which of course everyone will notice that. So as a black 18 year old man running up in people's houses, not knowing what it is that they may do in response and then claim the legal process of murdering you or beating you till you're nearly dead. That's something that's probably more likely to happen because as people see your black skin, they go, this guy is super, super dangerous. Now, maybe someone else that they figure they can trust more runs up in their house with this prank. They may not do the same. So maybe pay attention to the fact that, again, you're right is the way that people may react to you differently because you're a black guy. But the way they react is not gonna work out for you. Especially if you're just expecting them to go, Oh, good job, walk off, I'm glad you were here. Can you come back and visit us next week? No, bro, no, it's just, it. <laughs> This is supposed to be a self preservation type of advice to be given. Maybe chill out before someone does something more. And maybe that's just my American centric point of view, where the first thing I thought was, yo, we've got people getting shot on front porches, in driveways, in the vicinity of people's houses, just minding their own business, sitting in parking lots, getting shot because they went, oh my God, someone's sitting here. So maybe I'm just on edge because of where I live. No, um, British culture and British media can be really harsh to black people. Um, and do you can imagine how harsh British media would be if something were to happen to this kid? And then they just pull up his TikTok and they're like, well, look, he was pranking people and he was doing this stuff without how much. He had it coming. He had it coming. We see this happen in, in America mm -hmm. when people didn't have it coming, when people are at the lowest point in their lives, or when people, yeah, when people are like shot on video and they say, hey, had it coming, had it coming. What do you think about this guy who's doing pranks on video who has no remorse? All right. So think about that, dude. Uh, yeah. Not like I care. Because, <laughs> because, because again, I said it before. I'm a little bit on team. How to coming? But you know what sucks? I do care, and this guy annoys me, and I don't want that to happen to him, man. I don't, but uh, like, no, I'm not saying you want to, but like, you know, it's it's like he's asking for. He knows, he knows.